What's happening guys? So I am down here in Taylorville, Illinois, which is about three hours south of Chicago. One of the projects that we're working on is a giant tiny house that's actually going to a marina in Michigan. And the unique thing about this project is that the marina wants to convert some of their boat slips from, instead of somebody being able to just park their, uh, their boat in the, in the slip, they wanna convert them into places where we can park tiny houses. So there's two ways to do that. Either we fill in the boat slip with a ton of dirt, rock, create a peninsula and uh, affect the natural flow of the waterway. Or we find somebody that built barges, big steel rafts essentially. And so since we thought that was the more economical way to go about this, and it's freaking cool. They're gonna be floating in the water. So this is the prototype. And we found this company down here uh, in central Illinois who builds these things. I had to come down here because I have with me this U-Haul uh, trailer uh, packed solid with uh, two 250 gallon holding tanks. So I have to coordinate with the welders today to put these tanks inside the barge and then also run all the drain pipe uh, to, the, to the surface and coordinate where those points of uh, exit through the top of the barge are gonna be so that they can connect with the rest of the house. And I just pulled up here and, well, there's a barge. Oh man, this place is pretty cool. Oh, look at those boats. Oh, I love old stuff. And they got a couple of old army boats over here. I'm excited to work with these guys today, learn about their business, learn um, how they do things and uh, get these tanks installed into the barge. So. I was able to get the tanks down inside the barge and now we gotta run all the piping for these tanks. I'm gonna go through all the different uh, steps and what the pipes are actually gonna do so that whether you're working on an RV trailer or a tiny house or maybe you're doing a barge just like we are, uh, you'll know all the different steps on what the different pipes do, whether it's the pump out pipe or the vent or the supply pipe that brings all of the waste to the tank. We're gonna go through all the different um, pipes. All right, let's get started. last pipe that I just installed, first of all, let's step backwards. So I had to put these two 250 gallon holding tanks into this barge before the entire thing is welded up. These are gonna be the waste tanks. So they'll take all the waste from the tiny house and then this pipe that I just installed is gonna go to the outside and then that'll pump everything out uh, with a vacuum. Let's go through what we did here. The first pipe that I installed that kind of goes horizontal and then runs along the lower section of the barge is actually the fill uh, pipe or the waste pipe coming from the house to the tank. That pipe has to be on a quarter bubble pitch or a quarter inch pitch per foot all the way. So that had to start off low. The second pipe, which is a critical part of this, but not so much critical as far as the slope is concerned. You wanna make sure that have some slope in case water gets into this pipe, but overall, it doesn't have to be as intense of a slope as the waste pipe, and that's the vent. And the vent comes into the top of the tank. And from there, runs across, and then kicks up 
to above the drain pipe and runs all the way down to the same end of the barge as the fill pipe or waste pipe. Then we have our exhaust pipe. And this pipe is going to run a really short distance. It's got to stay under five feet and then pop right up out of the barge uh, within five feet of this tank right at the end. And then that'll get an attachment and a valve for the pumper truck that comes, connects to this pipe, and then sucks all the stuff out of the tank. Now, the reason we put two tanks in here is in the event of a failure. So this tank is actually just capped off. It'll be within the barge. This way, if there's ever a failure or a problem, you'll have this tank here uh, that you could switch these pipes over. That's why I ran the pipes past that tank to this uh, first tank. That way, if there is ever a problem with this tank, we can disconnect these pipes, shorten the runs, and put them into the secondary tank. Hopefully it'll never get used, but because of the way that this is built, there'd be no way to get a tank into the barge after this whole thing is built. So this is probably one of the coolest things that I've ever done as far as having this barge built. And then the house is gonna go on the barge and then it's gonna go out into the water and be out in a marina. Now it's really hot here, so I'm gonna get packed up three hours from home I want to get back so sorry if I kept it short if you have any comments though leave them in the section below be sure to like this video and if you haven't subscribed well I don't know what you're waiting for go ahead and subscribe to the channel and I'll be happy to answer any of your questions or make a video about anything that you might be interested in and in learning how to do so um, hopefully you've enjoyed this I've enjoyed hanging out here for the day but uh, it's hot and I want to go home so see you next time